ultimate for so long, it's just what I do. Like, I've played since sixth grade. So I play because I love the sport. I like the team here. Um, and it's just as much a part of my life as anything else. It runs really, really intense, but in, in a way that's not obnoxious. It's not real jockey. Very fun, very intense team. Um, got a lot of emotion on the field. People are just really willing to step up and give it their all. It's just something unique about the flight of the disc and the brain eaters just seem to harness harness that, that new age sports phenomenon. I'm Gordy, uh, Gordy Steckline. I'm a senior at Pomona College. I started playing Ultimate my last year in high school. A lot of fun, just kind of the same summer pickup barefoot stuff back in Minnesota. Um, came here, wanted to get better, wanted to stay active. Was really excited to be someplace like Southern California where I could be outside playing a lot, getting, getting exercise, and um, I had a really good time. First tournament I went to, we won. People were competitive about it, but in a way that was also still clear we were having fun. And I, don't know, I I kind of had enough of the varsity competitive athlete scene and wanted something that wouldn't interfere with schoolwork and still have a little more free time on the side. I think just this idea with Ultimate emerging as a competitive sport to try to balance how much fun we're having with really being into playing at our highest level. We do a really good job of that. And I see us yell at each other um, over the last four years in general, yell at each other less than many other teams. Um, I see us enjoy smaller tournaments more in the sense of when we're going to a tournament just to have fun it's really clear that that's the main goal for everybody and we also want to improve but it's clear that playing time is mixed up and we really try to get everybody in there and having a good time. I don't know, it's just about that balance where you're here at college and you're having a good time and everything you're doing and you're working hard and everything you're doing so you're still pursuing excellence in the sense of wanting to play better and better and and improving your, your own play and trying to win. Um, but it's about balance and keeping that at the same time as you're really having a good time being there. And it's about playing each point and the joy of playing every point and knowing who we are. Gordy is relentlessly positive. Gordy keeps us pumped on defense. Yeah, it's a great um, on and off field spirit where he's very encouraging of his team. Gordy, he's always smiling and happy and stuff. Energizer bunny. Michael Stout, Pomona 08. I blew out both my shoulders playing water polo, and I had to play something that didn't involve too much contact, but was still really athletically challenging. And it was something that I knew people who had played and said it was fun, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It could be that some other teams are just more intense when we see them, and they're more relaxed everywhere else, and we just don't know it, but I really feel we keep a much better perspective on the game and play it a lot more relaxed and fun, fun loving than other teams. Everything that we've built on for the last few years, people have really taken to heart. So instead of being starting over with a new team each year, it seems like this is really a continuation of past teams that's now reaching its prime. That is the best ultimate player I've ever played with. Um, he's super explosive and also a great strategist. Crazy athletic. Doubt. He's big. He's very dominant on the field. When we need him, we can just throw it and he'll take it down. He has a lot of wit. Um, he's like the... Medi medieval, you know, no, no, like probably post-Renaissance wit, you know, high chivalry, uh, aristocratic. He's well built, and he's uh, yeah, he'd be a politician in um, like 16th century absolutist France, for instance. My name's Weston Miller. I am a junior at Claremont McKenna College. Initially, uh, I didn't I didn't know too much about the Brain Eaters when I came to uh, Claremont. I knew that I was going to play ultimate, and I I knew it was going to be one of those things in college that I would really get into, uh, having heard a lot about it from friends. But uh, you know, once I got here, 
Uh, it was like night and day. Uh, the difference between the Brain Eaters and other Ultimate Teams even. I feel like the Brain Eaters uh, embody a unique form of athleticism. Uh, we're scrappy. Um, and we, we really cultivate uh, our intelligence. We don't have a coach. Um, we try and solve problems uh, uh, based on you know, the aggregate experience of the players. It's something that uh, draws you in. Yeah. And uh, that's, I can see other people really getting attached to uh, going for the plastic. Weston is just one of the most incredibly gifted players I've ever played with and has fun um, at the same time is taking the game very seriously and to him individual responsibility for how you're playing matters a lot. I've never met anybody who, who puts more of his heart into the game than Weston. The heart and soul of the team's emotion. To just see him throw himself around, lay out horizontally just to go for a disc is Great. It's great to have him on my team, just pumping us up. Moody, but great. Daniel Chazen, also known as Shy. Um, I go to Pitzer. I'm a senior. I graduated in class of 2008. I played for the Brain Eaters because I started to really like Ultimate in high school, um, my junior year of high school. And it's the team that represents our, uh, our five campuses, and I really enjoy being a competitive ultimate player collegiately and uh, I really love the team so I play for it. We have a, a strong sense of, of being sort of this strange tribe I feel of, of players. We play a specific way, uh, really hard on defense. We go for big hucks, um, big skies. We're really flashy but we're also really classy as a team. But this is actually probably the best year that that I've seen us ever play. We've gone to the biggest, the most amount of big tournaments. We've beaten some of our biggest rivals, beaten teams we've never even seen or played before, or beaten teams that have consistently beaten us over the last 29 years, as this is the 29th year of the Brain Eaters. Um, and this has been the biggest turnaround for us, both in terms of confidence and just in terms of skill as players. Shai has the technical leadership, I feel like, and he really, really shows it well. Like, he knows the game inside and out, and teaches players that well. Personality center for the team. The hub of stories and talk and everything that goes on. He's just, he's just a real big piece of what kind of holds us together and makes up our personality as a team. Shy is an old man. Shy is a great on-field uh, offensive player. He has all the, all the throws, he's extremely consistent and never makes errors. Jay Shulkin, Pomona College, class of 2008. Uh, I played in high school, I fell in love with the game then, and I came here and I really liked the group of people, and I really stuck with it and I love it. Brain Eaters play with a sense of humor, a levity, um, trying, to, trying to have fun out there while we're winning also, but it's important to have fun or else we don't, we don't do well. This year is the best team we've had in my four years, the most dynamic, uh, the, the best group of on-field players, definitely. Jay's just a real nice guy, real real fun to be around. Something very like, very Michael Jordan about Jughead as an ultimate player. Elegant and agile. He's the voice of reason on the team. People look to him for responsibility and for really knowing what to do and for kind of keeping a level head on and, and just how we should be behaving. I promised earlier in the year that I'd get a brain nearest tattoo if we made nationals and I I'm, don't really like tattoos on people so that would be especially a great stretch for me uh, to kind of show how much I love this team and how much a Nationals birth would mean to this team. The brand's just like, I don't know, it becomes like a social group that goes beyond the, the field a little bit. Like we all love to hang out, call ourselves a little family here. We have some excellent players. We've really been developing the program to enter a new level of competition and competitiveness while still keeping the sort of fun and attitude that we had before. Um, it's, been, it's, it's really impressive, I think. We've got a lot of potential. Um, I really hope we can make it to nationals. And yeah, I just, I'm really excited to see what the next couple of years have.